What's up, YouTube? Um, it's my 100th video, and so I decided why not do something special? So for the 100th video on my channel, I want to give you guys a tour of my fish room slash bedroom and all the fish tanks that I have right now. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here's my room in all its messy glory. We'll start small and get big. Actually, we'll start with my plants. Um, so here we go. I have an African violet that my girlfriend gave me a little over a year, I guess, oh my gosh, almost two years ago, and I've propagated it. I have some mystery plant here that the people at um, my plant nursery gave me to grow in the vase aquarium, which I'll show you in a bit. Some succulents I bought the other day, a dracaena, a pine bonsai. I'm trying to start some bonsai. So I have some other, you know, seeds growing out. I have some basil here. And I'm trying to grow out so that I can put it in another aquarium. And then I have some pothos here and a little bit more of that mystery plant. So I'm going to go up to the next biggest tank. Here we are. We have a fish bowl. So talk about this tank a bit. Uh, there was a fish bowl that was left by a former housemate. Um, we've actually drank alcohol out of this bowl. Um, but the former housemate left the fish bowl. I asked, you know, is anybody taking this fish bowl? The answer was no. So here we are with a fish tank. It's my most recent setup. And I have some uh, ember tetras. I have five ember tetras, but this, the fifth little guy kind of looked bad at the pet store. Um, and in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have got him, but we'll see how he fares. Um, and I have some anachronists in the back. I have some Anubis and some plant whose name just absolutely escapes me right now. Super excited about this bowl. I have it with some of that mystery plant in the back to suck out the nitrates. And then I eventually want to put basil in there as well. So again, super excited about it. Really excited about this guy, the Scarlet Batis, Scarlet Batis, Scarlet Batis only takes live food which is kind of exciting I'm looking for a white worm culture because um, I used to have one of these guys and I used to feed him white worms and it was just so much fun so that's this tank moving on to the next biggest tank we have a four gallon vase aquarium so it's a little sparse looking a little sparse right now I took out a piece of wood for this tank this Anubis for this tank and I cut back significantly and then eventually took out what used to be a red tiger lotus in here so it's looking kind of looking kind of sparse but i promise in you know two three months it'll be looking a lot better i have some again the same plant a different variety whose name i just cannot remember for the life of me i have some kabumba in the back i have some crypts i have some anubis and i have up top a little bit of mystery plant a little bit of uh, Africa, or no, um, peace lily, and then some pothos as well. That isn't doing quite as well. I got I had some burning issues with the light, um, but I'm figuring that out. Everything has grow lights on it. Let's now move on to the third biggest tank. Here's my monitor setup. I do science for a living, and so that requires a nice computer. Here we are. The 20 gallon long, I have some neon tetras, some glow light tetras, and a pair of Epistogramma Borelli. Let's see if we can see them. If you can't tell, I'm fighting an algae outbreak that's been kind of vicious. My latest tactics have been uh, algicide and to increase the flow in the aquarium. Um, I've noticed in the past that sometimes that helps a lot. Um, specifically helps the uh, plants outcompete the algae. So here's to hoping that that'll do it. I have some Myriophyllum, some Dwarf Subulata, some plant whose name I also don't remember, but it's a different variety in the back. Some Crypt in the front. Um, and then some Anacharis. Anacharis, like, really kicks butt, man. When you first set up an aquarium, you know, and I have some Kabumba. When you first set up an aquarium, and Java Fern, and Java Moss. When you first set up an aquarium, Add some anacharis, it will really take off while your other plants are still establishing. And then, oh, here we go. Epistogramma rally female. What a pretty little girl. Let's see if her boyfriend will come out. She's not loving the flow. I wish I had some flow, but lower flow. But this is all I had, and this is like pretty high flow for a, 
and a pisto tank. But before, all I had was this huge sponge filter in the back that wasn't really doing much, so. Anyway, Anacaris sucks up nitrates. Really, really fast growing plant. Really great starter plant. When you first set up an aquarium, and you can take it out once everything else gets established. So now moving on, the next biggest tanks are twins. I have the twin 40 gallon talls, or technically 37 gallon talls. We'll go over the one with discus first. Here we go. Here's uh, Ra and Hira, no, I forget her name, Hathor, Hathor, Hathor. Um, named after Egyptian god and goddess. We have some freshly added as of today, black phantom tetras and bleeding heart tetras. We have two male and three female black phantoms and then six bleeding hearts and they make just the most beautiful low level school. Unfortunately, I had some trouble with temperature, I think, leaving me just one penguin tetra and just one harlequin raspora. I think I solved that problem by um, adding an air stone. I hate air stones. I really don't like to add them. But we had just a huge temperature gradient between the top and the bottom. And I think that because those fish hung out at the top, they got the brunt of some pretty significant temperature. Um, and I don't think that they could handle it because the fish that were on the bottom were fine and the discus are fine. So that's my thought. Um, we'll see if that works. I really hope it does. Uh, anyway, on to the next tank. I really love this tank. Oh, by the way, the light setup. Didn't expect these guys to work as well as they do, but I mean, everything seems good so far. The light seems to penetrate all the way to the bottom. Um, these guys, they're putting out green leaves, which is a good sign that they're growing, right? Uh, they're not quite as red as they were when I first cut them off, but that's good. This is where the uh, red tiger lotus from the other tank ended up going. So now on to the 40 gallon tall. The other one, we have this big old flower horn here. His name is Hercules, very, very handsome boy. Starting to get a little aggression to him, a little, ooh. He doesn't like this finger. Mm. Very, very handsome young flower horn. Super excited for him to see what he turns into. Um, God, what a, what a boss. And then I have, so I have four flower horns and then four electric yellow cichlids, electric yellow labs. At first, the labs were in charge. You can see this guy kind of skulking, sulking in the background here. They were in charge once upon a time, but now it seems that the flower horns have taken over, specifically this guy. So before long, I'll probably have to take this tank down. But for now, you can get a nice good look at it because it is one of my favorite tanks I've ever set up. Try to cut some of the glare here if I can. Um, cut a bit more. Yeah, it is one of my favorite tanks. It's just, it's so tall. I've never been good at scaping tall and this tank really works as a tall tank. I think even the uh, sponge filters work in the scape. It's very tall, very built up, has a lot of space that the uh, Malawi and the, all the cichlids in this tank actually use really effectively. I just, I love it. They use every crevice, every hole, every cave. Absolutely love this tank. I'm really gonna miss it when I have to take it down, but so be it. I think one of the beauties of fish keeping is that everything is so transient. So one last look at all the tanks. We've got the vase aquarium in its full glory. We've got this guy, the fish bowl. We've got the Episto tank, 20 long. Looking great, mm, looking great. We've got the discus aquarium. With some hiding discus, where are you guys? There they go down, way down in the corner there. You can see the reflection. And then we've got this tank. All right, on to the piece de resistance. You'll see the walk there. Boom, the camera adjust here. 
this is what I get to walk into when I come home every day. This is the 75 gallon. I'm using the anacharis method as you can see. It's covered in anacharis, also known as Brazilian Elodia. Um, have six angels that are growing out, three of which are F3. Um, have a pair of German blue rams. You can see the female right there. I have some keyhole cichlids, some uh, red flame tetras, some cardinal tetras. I love cardinal tetras. Some platies, some guppies, one of which is giving birth tonight. But unfortunately, I think that the angelfish are cleaning up shop right there. Have some quarry cats, some keyhole cichlids, which are some of my favorite cichlids. If not, like, Maybe my favorite fish of all time? I don't know. They might just be. God, look at these guys. Can you believe this is a phone camera? <laughs> so yeah, that's a 75. And then there's a, a bristlenose pleco in there now. A pair of Epistogramma borelli as well. And yeah, that's the tank. Here we go. You guys can finally see. I'm telling the truth about these epistos. They're in here and they are just, I mean, drop dead gorgeous. Look at that handsome devil. They can't know how handsome they are. They can't just, they can't be aware of it. God, look at him. Look at him. Just look at him. Jesus, look at her, just full of color. The angels are looking great. Anyway, I won't make this go on forever. It's already been 12 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. This has been my hundredth video. I am so lucky to be able to do this with my life. Um, it's a hobby right now, but I'm really hoping it'll go somewhere. Thanks for watching. Tank on. Take care, guys. If you have any thoughts, questions, concerns, or comments, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Leave a like if you want to see more of these tanks or if you want to see me set up another one because I'd love to set up another one. Anyway, see you guys.